Oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Hey, friends. Uh, we're both pretty excited about today. We, we've been wanting to play this game for a very, very long time, and we have not had the opportunity to. So, here it is. It's, 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 Shut up. it's. Well, that's, 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 that's my cup. That's not it. That's my cup of water. <laughs> um, how do I get rid of. Push the other one. Push the other one. This one. Aha! Yeah! Ryan gave us new buttons, so we're learning those today, too. Um, hello, everybody. I'm pretty excited. So, yeah, the cup is going to be our punching thing, but... So the game is pretty simple, which is exciting. So, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, a cooperative deck-building game, is a deck-building game. So, it's pretty simple. We watched some, some overview videos yesterday, and it is extraordinarily straightforward. But something that's cool about it is that it's kind of episodic. You play your way through the storyline of the movies, um, and it gets progressively more difficult and dark, just like the, sh uh, the I keep wanting to call it a show, because it's serialized. The, movie, the books? The movies. No, the movies. This is based on the movies. This is not based on the books. Oh. Hence, all the actor kids' pictures are going to be on all of the cards. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, yes, Reed, this is an unboxing, too. <gasps> yes. And the cool thing is, like, if you don't have a friendly local game store, Target has kind of upped their game as far as what tabletop games they uh, support. Um, so they, they have this one. This one was at Target. It was pretty exciting. And there are expansions for it as well. There's like different kinds of battles that you can make happen and all that good stuff. Uh, so let's just dig in. Do you want to do the honors? Oh, you already found an opening. Just peeled it like a banana. I thought it was actually going to come my way. It didn't. It went the other way. I'm very excited though. I'm also really bad at opening things. Aha! That's it. That's what I wanted. It's like Harry Potter's trunk. It does. Hello, everybody. Um, but I think like we watched a couple of videos of it, and they're like, if you love, if you like Dominion, <laughs> they pulled an if us. If you like, if you, <laughs> you like, like these games, yeah. you'll like this game. I'm like, holy shit, we're gonna love it. Yeah. Um, like the pandemic was one of them too. Yeah. Dominion. So, Dominion. Super excited. Pandemic, legendary. Um, Ascension? Was it Ascension? It's that other deck building game that we haven't played yet that's been recommended to us a bunch. It's a fantasy one. Wow, this is a snug fit. I help. I help. Okay. I help. But I don't get to just angrily shake it until I it works. Help. I help! A very tall box. Ah, very this cute. This is a very tall box. Look at this! This is a door all the way. How do we. Aha, uh -huh, there. Yeah. Right there. I kept trying to bring it there and kept tugging it away. You know, there was. What we would call here is a lack of communication. Ooh. Oh. Yes, very cute. Uh, also very huge. It's big. Uh, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> arrange that in a second. We didn't know. We didn't know. It's it's very. Large. It looks much smaller on the on the overview and objective. So here's game one. Bap. This is. Bap. Bap. All right. So we're gonna play that, uh, and then we have. Little health things, little health tracker boards. These are all identical because your characters are going to go. I'm going to just call it out right now, but I really like the setup mm -hmm. for like, <gasps> it's already pre-punched. There are metal components. We're excited. These are the starting cards. Okay. So these are our characters, location cards, so and this villain game cards. goes up. Um, it's a two to four player game. That is, that it's its cap, but this is exciting. It's indeed two to four, so we don't need any of these. So you can see these are all the other games that you can play. So I do like that there is a, a solid sequence that you can take, but I'm gonna knock these out over here for right now. Do you um, wanna give us what some of the overview is? Oh, these are dividers. These are dividers for storing in the future. Oh, lovely. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Okay, um, we'll so actually, that. I was going to ask you to do that so I can fix the camera. Oh, okay. Um, so our overview. Ah, too much, too much. Too much. Um, our overview says, in this cooperative game, you will take, you will take on the heroic role of either Harry Potter, TM, Ron Weasley. <laughs> That's how you know it's the one. Uh huh. Hermione Granger or Neville Longbottom. Look at that. Neville makes it in here. In order to defeat a series of in order to defeat a series of evil threats, the villains launch attacks against you in their attempts to conquer the wizarding world one location at a time. One location at a time. Um, enjoy Danny's side. Um, 
necessary. Well, you know. Also, I don't think they can see me. Oh, I will. Yeah, they can. <laughs> and. Um. This game is designed to be played over a series of seven increasingly difficult adventures to defeat you know who and for all. Um, the objective, playing cooperatively as the heroes, you'll win the game if you defeat the villains before they gain control of all the locations, ah. thereby securing the, the safety of Hogwarts for now. However, if the villains manage to gain control of, the, of, of all of the locations, you've lost the game. So that's exciting. Yes. Um, so here, the metal components that Danny is setting aside are eight villain control tokens, 35 attack tokens, and those are symbolized by the lightning strikes, um, 25 influence tokens, and that has the Ministry of Magic on it. Um, what Danny's already talked about, the health trackers that we have out, and we have... There's little heart tokens for that. Yes, we start with 10. Um, and we have our game board. Okay, okay, calm down. Okay. Um, open game box one and proceed to the next page. So, love the fact already that like, they kind of keep it. Um, Danny was saying like, this is almost like a legacy game. This is our yeah, first legacy like. Legacy game in one little box. Yeah. Although, technically not a legacy game. No. The only reason being that your actions are not going to permanently affect the next game. These are just game options. These are play styles, kind of like in the same way that they're offered in, say, like the Star Trek game. You have multiple ways to play in this. Um, also, like this was one of the ones where they're like, if you play like Star Realms, you're going to like this game. No, no. Cards. Um, OK, so we're going to have location cards. Those are going to go up here. Location cards, they go up here. That's these? No. no, these are back. Find the location cards. Are these location? I don't know what they look like, so help. I don't know. On this, it has Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley? Okay. These are location cards. Excellent. Location cards, they go up here. Thank you. Thank you. Does one go on top? So far, it's one of two. Two oh, of one two. Of two, two, two. Perfect. Location. As Danny likes to point out, whenever we set up like cards or like whenever you're playing a deck builder game, it says it on the card itself. Um. Then we have two dark, or number two is dark arts cards. They're gonna be here. And those are gonna be symbolized. Ah, yeah, you found them. Um, dark marker. Yep, yep, yep. And they're all shaped differently, which is also helpful. Hi, everybody in the chat. Sorry, we're we're focused on learning at the moment. But Hi, yay, friends. unboxing for the first time. Very exciting. Uh, and then the villains also go face down first. Third, yes. And shuffled. Shuffle and stack. The oversized villain cards face down. Oversized villain cards. Oh, these will also be ten four, ten four. Um, and then over here is where we're gonna flip. Here, um, to be our active villain, which is gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and then we turn, turn order and hero cards. So choose your hero. Place an oversized. These are oh. your. These are our our potential heroes. Are I'll put these up right here. So we can either be Aww, Neville Longbottom, them. Ron Weasley, Babies. Harry Potter, or Hermione Granger. And uh, I'm gonna go with Ron Weasley. Excellent. I'm gonna go with Hermione. Perfect. Aww. Put these up there. And then our turn order cards are just these things that tell us what happened in each turn, which is very helpful. Um. So you want to read those over really quick? Yeah. So in a, in your turn will be. You will reveal and resolve Dark Arts event cards. Uh, um, resolve villain abilities. Da -da. Play Hogwarts cards and take hero actions. Da -da. And end your turn. Discard any remaining cards and tokens, then draw five new cards. So uh, some deck builders, you must play all the cards in your hand. Uh, this one is, I think, pretty specific that you may choose to play uh, any or all of your cards. Um, yeah. Um, the thing. I think these are our starting decks. Yes. Which are Shuffle. separated in little sleeves. Packaging points, people. That's really cool. I appreciate that. Um, so shuffle and stack your, your hero deck of 10 cards face down and then draw five. Oh, this is Harry. Oh, this they is have Hermione. Names. This is you. Yeah, because there are specific cards to the characters. So like Harry gets the invisibility club, the firebolt, and Hedwig. 
Oh, hey, I Hermione gets the Tales of the Bard. Or, or Tales of Beetle Bard. Beetle, Beetle the Bard. Uh, Time Turner and Crookshanks. Mm. Look at that. Neville gets Trevor, of course. Love Here's Ron. Him. Oh, but he gets Pigwidgeon. They don't give you, uh, they don't give you scabbers for obvious reasons, I guess. Hmm. Spoilers and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Note that each hero, ah, yes. Note that each hero has their own starting deck, as indicated by the name on the banner. Yeah, we found them. Banner. Found them. We found them. Um, okay, so then we're gonna put the Hogwarts cards up there. That's all these. I'm assuming also shuffled. Uh, separate out the four starting hero decks. Hold on, we indicate in the hero. Blah blah blah. Shuffle and stack the Hogwarts cards face down. Yes. Place the top six cards face up in the spaces below. Got it. Pretty standard so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Reed says, haven't read the books in years or seen the movies. Like, you haven't seen the movies in years also, or you've never seen the movies? Wonder who's going to win this week. James, it's going to be both of us, or it's going to be none of us. This one is cooperative. Pretty fun. Oh, like since Oh, Reed says, yeah. I, I watch three all the time. I watch four all the time. Which one is your favorite? To watch, I think four is my favorite. But I think my favorite movie might be three. It is a pretty solid standalone. Yeah. Um, I, three, three and six were my favorite books. Six did not do it for me in the movies because my favorite, it's like they just glazed over the subplot that made the book interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, boiled down several chapters to one line of dialogue. I was very angry. Um, um yeah, I really liked four. I think so. I really liked four. A little bit of wood. Sorting oh, hat. Ooh. Incendio. Quidditch gear. Lumos. Complete with uh, spell directions. Love it. So incendio. Lumos, which is not accurate to the films, but that's who gives a shit. It's cute. <laughs> Haven't read, watched any of the movies or read any of the books. I wasn't a fan of Harry Potter, sorry. I uh, apologize. No accounting for taste, I say. Um, they're fun, they're fun. I think the books, to me, are slightly more fun. I think the movies did a pretty damn good job. They're very different from three and forward, but I think they made better choices as movies from three onward, whereas one and two were pretty one-to-one -one adaptations of the books to a point where they were almost wooden and boring. Um, but Three and Beyond, I think, were great. Oh, we are, like, set up as... as I would also be. like to note... <laughs> draw pile? Discard pile. With little indentations, which is adorable. I just think that's super cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, great. So information on the villains cards. Let's just get familiar with this really quick. We're going to yep. have the villain name. Mm -hmm. That's up top. Yep. Uh, we have the game identifier because mm -hmm. there are seven. Um, we have the villain ability that is located right here. So in this case, this villain each time. Hmm, shoot. The dark mark. Thing. The villain control is added to the locations. Active hero Sorry. loses two hearts. Yes. Um, there is a health, so the number of attacks needed to defeat the villain is located down here in this heart. This is what we're going to be working towards. Mm -hmm. um, and then our reward is to remove um, a villain control marker from the location. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So information on the Hogwarts cards. Let's go ahead and talk that really quick. Uh, number one, up top here is the game identifier. So that's excellent. That's gonna let us know what game we're in. Um, number two is the card type. Um, so that's either an ally, an ally, an item, a spell. Okay, so we are well balanced. Mm -hmm. Some effects may reference these types. Number three is card name, and that's going to be located right here. I think we've already been able to identify that. Um, the card effect and what you get to do with that card when you um, when you play the card and then the value is located right here so that's our influence tokens of right here mm -hmm. um, okay so you are ready to go for your first game choose a hero to go first these rules are just are 
to be designed. Oh, they're designed to be ready read as you play. That's fun. So this is like a tutorial. We're mm -hmm. gonna play a tutorial today. Who's that? Um. Okay. Who's going first? I believe it is the youngest Witcher Wizard goes first. Was uh, how it is listed. So I think that's me. What? How is that? It was in one of the videos we watched. Hmm. Advanced wizards will need a complete setup as instructed in the game three box before continuing with these rules. We're not there. So something I noticed that's a little bit different. It looks like we collect our influence tokens over time, so like from hand to hand, so we can bank them until we spend them. Is that correct? I don't know. We're meant to read as we play. I haven't. Okay. I'll, I will distribute this. I will relinquish the, the rules to you as okay. I will shuffle my deck. Four, five. Start with five cards like most what games. What's up? I'm catching up on the chat. I missed a Oh, lot. you're talking about what if the TV series is animated, but uh, but it's also Doctor Who and it's sort of a sequel and also a prequel and also a Tales. What? So Dumbledore. We're talking about a Harry Potter series in the future. Mm. Dead Boy says, I was afraid to watch five, so I stopped watching the movies. Gary Oldman playing one of my top five characters in the series did not want to see that scene. It was done very well. I highly recommend it. Um... <laughs> yeah. It's on HBO. <laughs> dun, 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 oh, no. Dun. All right, so I have some stuff. Let me get my, my little camera here. Let's do the... It's this one. Da -da -da, look how slick that is. All right, cool. Um, so I have Birdie, Bot, Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Um, oh, wait, I to, that's not the order of turn. So let's look at the, the turn order first before we do more stuff. So reveal and resolve Dark Arts event cards. So this is going to happen first, right? Dark Arts. Expulso, active hero, loses two hearts. That Ow. sucks. Ow. Um, that's done. Resolve villain abilities each time one of these is added. So when is one of those added? Each turn, reveal one Dark Arts event. So I guess it's in here when these get gained, is the idea? Uh, I'm going to say that that is um, going to be right here. Oh, example. This event instructs you to add one. Yeah, okay. So we're good. We're good for now. All right. All right. Um, so he, nothing happens for him because he's only triggered should that have happened. Yes. Should that have gained a token. Yes. Um, Play Hogwarts cards, that's me, and take hero actions. Do I have, I don't, I guess it looks like game one does not include hero action. So it looks like as you progress, your your heroes will get more complicated and asymmetrical. But base game, nothing. Okay, but what does it say in the rules? Stuff. Okay, all right, gameplay. Step one, reveal and resolve the dark arts events. Did it. Okay, look at the location and see how many dark arts events to reveal. Did it. Great. Uh, dark arts events have a variety of detrimental effects. One at a time, reveal and resolve dark arts events, blah, blah, blah. Great. Step two, resolve villain abilities. Concluded. Um, great, great. Proceed to the next page. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Um, as the active hero, you may do all the following in any order you choose. Play cards to gain resources, so that's attack and influence tokens, yes. and generate effects. As you play out cards, set them to the side to indicate that they have been played. Tokens you gain are collected on your player board. So it sounds like yes. Yes, cool. That's cards and resources unique. cannot be saved from one turn. Cards and resources cannot be saved from one turn to the next. Cards cannot be, yeah. Cards and resources. Cards and resources. So and there's resources? really no reason for resources. No. There's no reason for tokens. No. That seems weird, right? Oh, but we can bank our attacks here. Looks like. Um. Right. So it is advisable to use everything each turn. Assign attack to villains. When the number of tokens assigned to a villain equals its health, the villain is defeated. Okay, so yes. Use influence to acquire new cards. Six face up Hogwarts cards are available to acquire and build more powerful deck. You can acquire multiple cards as long as you have enough influence. Okay. Immediately, ah, this is good. Immediately place the newly newly acquired cards in your discard pile, not in your hand, unless mm -hmm. otherwise noted. This is very much for our, like I appreciate is, the clarity. This is but deck this building one oh one. This is pretty slick. I'm yeah. 
So if you're wanting to get into a deck builder, this is probably your jam. Um, and it does walk you through it. Like, I like how this rule is set up in terms of like its action and then its rules and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, when your deck runs out of cards, you will shuffle your discard pile to form a new deck, including these newly acquired cards. Excellent. Um, okay. Yeah. So they're just trackers. It's for people who haven't had the the <laughs> like the the brain damage of doing playing too much Dominion and being able to count all your floating actions and all that stuff. It's just it makes it easier, I think, and it makes it easier, I think, for younger players and people who are touching a deck builder for the first time. It's an actual visual, tactile thing to track your floating actions. I, I think, think so. Yeah. So that makes sense. That's super cool. So let's do that. Look at it. Looks so good. All right. Uh, everyone's asking what everybody is. Uh, I'm I love it. A Griffin George Thunderbird. Oh, wait. Well. I'm going to take my turn. Okay, you take your turn. I want to catch up with what everyone's saying in the chat. Right. I got three Alohomora, which give me three uh, influence. So those are going to go on my board down here. You can't really see it, so I'm going to scoop my board up a little bit. Just trust that I'm Ron. Just remember that I'm Ron, everybody. Raven Huffledore. And then I have. Isn't that like three out of the four? Birdie bots, every flavor of beans. They mean every flavor. And I get another influence. And for each ally played this turn, which is none, I would get one attack. So none there. And I have the queen, the clean sweep 11. So I get to gain an attack. I think that's, was it an attack? What was it called? And if I defeat a villain, I would also gain an influence. So I'm not going to defeat a villain, but I can attack a villain. And once we, we hit this thing six, six hearts times. worth, then we're good. Yeah. All right, so I can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have four to spend, and I'm going to get, oh boy, it begins. I know what you want, so I'm gonna leave that for you. Val wants Incendio because it lets you draw cards. I want the sorting hat because I like to buy stuff. This is this is definitely consistent. All right. This is consistent? <laughs> yeah. I get the sorting hat. Uh, that is the end of my turn, I believe. Discard any remaining cards, yep. And tokens, I spent all my tokens. Draw five new cards. We're done, yay, boo. Okay, ooh, this is fun. So I have a time turner. And we're back. And we're back, okay, great. I have a time turner, Alohomora, 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 and Crook Chips. Um, <laughs> so let's see here, I get to choose one. I have like zero attack. So Crookshanks is going to give me an attack. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know what you didn't do? What? You know, your starting turn stuff. Does that happen for every player? Yeah, each turn. Hold on, wait, let's just confirm. That, it's on your turn order card. Reveal and resolve, dark arts event cards. Resolve villain abilities. Play Hogwarts cards and take hero actions. Okay, but I just... This is so... Oh, yeah, no. it's gonna be hard. Uh, I like that uh, someone earlier in the chat was like, "Yeah, you just you come out swinging or whatever." Yeah, this is Hogwarts battle. We are fighting. <laughs> Forget the plot. We are here to save the school. What am I looking at? Um, just making sure that we. I I'm just being completionist and reading the. Reading. No, no, no. This one. No, this is all part of the turn. This is turn breakdown. I, I understand. We, Each turn consists of four. What's your question then? I just want to end. Your turn. I did anyway. So after playing the cards, taking the actions, this one conclude. Yeah, okay. All so the villains have not acquired Diagon Alley. Excellent. Uh, we have not acquired enough damage to defeat a villain this turn. Excellent. We uh, filled the empty, empty spaces. You did not do that. I did not do that. Footage gear. Discard any unused tokens. Replated cards that do allow other heroes to gain tokens. They do get to keep them and use, to use them on their turn. Aha! Lovely. A new reason to have a bank. Draw a new hand of five cards. Only shuffle your discard pile to form a fresh draw deck when you need to draw or reveal cards and your deck is empty. Gameplay will continue clockwise with the next player as the active hero taking the same four steps on their turn. Okay, cool. Great, see? Great. Yes. Okay, oh, so and then, then when you get knocked out, something happens. When you get stunned, you discard all tokens and have the cards in your hand. Okay, got it. Um, and then you add one location, one um, villain marker to the location. 
reset your health at 10, and then that's the end of your turn. Huh. Um, so now you gotta flip villain stuff. I'm just curious. Oh no! Ah, this is why it is hard because you will constantly lose. But look what you have. The Kirkshanks. I know. But then we're going to be... Okay. <laughs> Dead voices, y'all can fight. I'll have a couple with McGonagall. <laughs> See, I would love that. Diva does a really mean McGonagall impersonation. Yeah? We did um, Towards Zero, an Agatha Christie play. Mm -hmm. And for the old lady, she did, she did a very... Convincing McGonagall. Um, can I have four influence, please? Yes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my four influence right now. Um, I know that I am going to want Incendio. You are correct. I'm gonna spend those four. And the good news is, with my time turner, uh, it goes on top of my deck. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will use Crookshanks. Let's see here. Um. Oh. <laughs> I just think it's funny that in game one we have all the child versions of the heroes, but Malfoy is that's like year four Malfoy. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him and his old ass. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Malfoy. Um I'm gonna use Crookshanks to heal myself up. We're not gonna attack right now. We're gonna we're gonna try to touch things a bit. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be hard, guys. Okay. Da -da -ba -ba -da. My turn. Flip. I'm catching up. Hi, dead boy. Um. Blueberry cream. Uh, all right. So petrification. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. That wasn't really a threat, but still, no control markers that on these. That is definitely a threat. Oh, that's all heroes. Yeah. So you too. I know. I did, but I was going to draw an extra card this turn. Womp womp. Yep. Well, this turn. Oh, okay, because we're going to reset. Yeah, it's going to uh -huh. be a different turn by the time it's your turn. So unless it's another petrification on your turn, you should be fine. I just can't draw anything. Uh, I have one, two, three, four Alohomoras. Uh, so that gives me four of these little buggers. Or Too bad they don't have them as a ferret. Oh. <laughs> Technically, it's a ferret. I also have Pigwidgeon. I get to choose one. I can gain a fight or I can gain two health. I'm going to gain two health because I'm already pretty low. Oh, but wait, I have... we did not reset. Here. I did not. I have four to spend. Oh, look at that. Another incendiary. Mm-hmm. I can't afford Albus. Lumos, though, that's pretty slick. I like that for a cooperative game. So I'm going to, for funsies, I'm going to buy Lumos. Because that one will allow all heroes to draw a card. So that is where petrification, I think, comes in, is cards like this. Yes. And now I have to shuffle. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, no, don't forget how to start your turn. <sighs> I forgot, I forgot. Okay, hold on. Villain Beep. card. No, active hero loses two. It's a really <laughs> good thing we healed up. Okay. So. All right. I gain one attack and I draw a card. I gain an attack. This is fascinating. And I draw a card. <laughs> Hooray. Okay. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I get. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do six coins. Sorry. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, since this is cooperative, before I decide the beetle, um, to, how to use this, Mm -hmm. Beetle the Bard. Um, how many how many influence do you get this turn? On my next turn, how many yeah. will I get? I will get one, two, three, four. Four. 
Okay, so still still in good shape, right? Yeah, I'm fine. So take your money, buy okay. something better. Um, and unfortunately, you can't like wipe out the cards. Not yet. You haven't seen any of the cards yet. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Harry Potter was in D and D. Wild magic sorcerers uh, that go to school to be wizards instead. That's true. I think they would. The Oliver would. I'm gonna buy Quidditch gear for three. Um, one, two, three. I mean, we're fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna replace it. this here. Quidditch gear. I have another three to spend. I guess that means currently. You know what? Um, yeah, let's well let's pick up Oliver Wood. Oliver Wood. Okay. Yeah, you're done, right? Uh, yeah, that is the end of my turn. Are you going to attack Draco Malfoy? Oh, yes! I am going to attack Q. Draco Malfoy. All right. Draco has four health left. Maybe that's why. All right, got to flip this. What's why what? Flipendo! Our active hero loses one and discards a card. This is very hard. Game Shall wants. I discard? Um, everything pretty much costs three. <laughs> I'm going to discard Pigwidgeon. Sorry, little buddy. Little owl friend. Um, but still, no, no location control. I don't understand why you want to jinx it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, sorting hat. You get to gain two money. Hooray! Alohomora, gain one. Well, not money. Ministry of Magic Influence. Another Alohomora, gain one. So I currently have four. And then the Clean Sweep 11, I gain an attack. And then if I somehow magically manage to defeat that, I get a coin. Uh, a seal. A and one. then also, one of your, your sweating hat allows you to do something fun. Yes, it does. So I may put allies I acquire to the top of my deck instead of my discard pile. Unfortunately, I can't afford the only ally who's out here, which is currently uh, Dumbledore, because he's he costs eight. So that's just not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, so I can't use this effect currently. But it is still pretty cool. I actually don't need that anymore, so that goes away. Uh, let's see. So, the owl has flown the coop. Yes, that's right, bad boy. So I'm going to buy myself an Incendio, since I've got four. Might as well go big. So Incendio goes to my discard. The rest of these also go to my discard. I will attack. Pew, he's halfway gone. Halfway there. And this is only, the control really only happens when the card says it, right? What do you mean? Like adding one of these villain control markers only happens when it's on the card. Uh, I believe so. But if you want to double check the rules, because we have definitely abandoned rules. Because yeah. I feel like we, we've, we've gotten... We get it. We get it. Here, wait, let me replace. Essence of Dittany. Any one hero, any one hero gains two health. That's oh. pretty slick. I do like the cooperative nature of these cards, because the entire game is designed to be cooperative. It's not just an option. So I think that really do, does inform what you can and can't do on your turns. It's pretty fun. We don't have a lot of games like this. And this one I think would also be easy to teach the family. Yeah, and I think like this is, I don't know what the age range is for this, but uh, it certainly feels like it It can be. It says 11 our... plus on the box, but honestly, you could play younger. People underestimate the children. The children! Um, you're confirming. Oh wait, I need to do the thing. I yeah, flip, flippity flip. Aha, aha, aha. He who must be named. He must. He who must not oh, be named. There it is. That is. He who must be named. Uh, Charles. Uh, Squidward. Uh. <laughs> Squidward. Mm. Oh no! Each time, um, a location, a villain control marker is added. The locate. Uh, the hero loses two health. The active hero loses two health. That's Ooh, you. that is me. Yikes. Okay. How do we? Uh, 
I'm gonna spend... So we only lose if they control both locations. Uh, how do they? So when they fill up, if all four of these happen, that's a thing. Oh, that's cute. What? The games themselves have, have different rules. So you store those rules in the book. Oh, that's fun. So these are little envelope, little slots for you to store stuff. So the rules are very sparse, because there's not a lot to happen. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna gain these three really quick. And I'm gonna spend these three. Heroes have until the end of that turn to remove a thingy. So we can remove these if we defeat him. Yeah, Draco. We can pull one off. Or by... Yeah, playing a card or defeating a zone. So cards do exist that will remove one. But that was, that's all the rules, man. That's that is simple. Uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to buy Reparo. Reparo. Okay, Reparo. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm actually. I'm sorry. I'm going to flip this. No. <gasps> it's your favorite. It is. It's. Um. Got him. Leviosa. Um. Mew. I am actually going to allow you to gain one influence, oh, and I'm going you. to gain one one more um, influence. What do you think the Asia school would look like in Harry Potter? I don't know. And. But hey, if you watch our show. Uh, which are, which is wizards wizards and wonders? Uh, you can find out what at least the, the northern school would look like. Hmm. I'm gonna gain this card, and because of my time turner, I'm going to put it on top of my deck. Okay. Yep. All right, my turn to flip the scary thing. Oh no! Another he who must not be named. Did you shuffle? Yes, I shuffled. Danny didn't shuffle. Shuffled. I don't think you shuffled. I shuffled just fine. Mm -hmm. I shuffled everything. I'd like to point out that a lot of the cards. There's like 10 cards in there. Re repeats are. They're coming up right next to each other. This is like what happens when we play Pandemic for the first, or like, what was it called? Um, Forbidden Island. Water is rise. Water is rise. I said water is rain. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, you know what, guys? So We're doing great. I have... Boing. I've got... Need Val to play with oh, the Felty Friends. Oh, that also means I lose two health because of Draco. I don't know if I'd be good with the Felty Friends. Cucumber's <laughs> nice to me every once in a while. It's true. Lumos! All heroes draw a card. See? Draw a Dead card. boy? Draw your hand and then draw oh, a card. One, two, three, four, a five, and I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Tigron says Danny stacked the deck. Did that. Tigron, Dead boy, they're with me. <laughs> can we buy only one card on our turn? No, oh, you can buy as many as your influence has. All right, fine, double check. No, I'm not going to double check. That's the difference between you and me. <laughs> I'd be like, Val, this is true. You're like, fucking. <laughs> 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 and um, yet, how many times have I been right? Shut up. <laughs> Too many. Uh, all right, so Birdie Bots, every flavor beans. Gain a uh, thing. I have played no allies, so I don't get my. Reed, is that true? Thing. Reed huh? says, you know, I don't. I don't. Oh, they have. The Vowel and the Felt of Friends hang out on screen yeah. together. They have. I mean. During some movie watching time. During some movie. Oh, that's right. That's during right. Some For New times. Year's New Year's Eve, we rung in the. We, we, mm -hmm. we brought in 2021 together. Yes. Um, One, two, three, four. I have four more to spend. But not in their normal streams. The tabletop shows what? and all that jazz are generally. So oh, I'm gonna buy no. Essence of Dittany. I'm going to assume I'm at four health. Four, two. So I have four to spend. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take that back. 
I don't know the next time I'm gonna have this much. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to buy a Descendo. Get that out here so we can kick some butt because I don't have any fighting happening over here at all. At all. And buy an extra thing. And now we do this. Flip. Another I'm calling back to the Star Trek game. Rosa. What Star Trek game? There's a gif of Val and Cucumber with a Star Trek game. Oh man, I don't remember. There's so much about this channel that I don't remember. What? I played with Cucumber for the Star Trek game? A Star Trek game? Maybe it was the VR game? Do you remember any of those? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that depends also. If it was like early quarantine, um, I have very minimal me memory. Um, <laughs> in the before times. In, in the, the before long, times, long I know, I know. Luckily, Cucumber has his own relationships, and he and Danny never fight about that. No, no, we never fight. Actually, there's there's like legal paperwork, so we can spend like we have to spend as little time in the same room as possible. Um. Okay. Can I? No. Hold on. Meow. Flip. I flip. Daddy. <laughs> Boyfriend. I guess you'll. <laughs> I don't think so. They've all come up as repeats. Well, it looks like you just have to defeat Draco, so you can pull one of those off, huh? Huh. You should have six cards, right? I do. I do. And you know what? Yeah. Yeah. What? I'm what? going to play Quidditch gear. I'm going to gain a heart because Lord knows I need it. And I'm going to gain an attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Oliver Wood and I'm going to gain an attack. I'm going to play Incendio. Incendio. And I'm gonna gain a card and gain an attack. <laughs> Star Trek I... was tabletop for two, not with cucumber. There's been many iterations of Star Trek things on this channel. You know. But you know what I get to do? Debut! I attack! <laughs> that is the destruction of Draco Malfoy! Be -be 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 so do it. Okay. Where does he go? He gets defeated. Uh, I don't know what happens. I know that you get to take one of those off. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Weak. And then, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's find out. Does it go to the discard? Probably. But let me see. Can, do you mind if I take the, the, the two hearts because I'm at like low? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do what you Heart. Right. Defeating a villain. When the attack tokens assigned to a villain is equal to its health, the villain is defeated. You immediately gain the reward listed on the villain card and place it in the discard space. Yep, at the center of the board. Return the tokens back to the pile. Um, end of your turn, replace the defeated villain with the next villain card at the top of the stack. Dead voice says, Town of Saval, she has all the attack. It's true. It's true. I have all the gaming stuff. I have the attack! Um, okay, great. Now what? Now you reveal a new villain. After you, I mean, after you play all your... Okay, well, Alohomora, 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 and we Guardian Leviosa. Um, okay. Oh, I get to put items on the top of my deck instead of my discard pile. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I have four to spend. What is available? Essence of Dittany. Any one hero gains two health. I feel like that's going to be helpful. The Quidditch mm -hmm. care also came in. Came in lovely. Wink. Um. I don't want to, like, overwhelm Wink. my deck. Um. I'm debating between the Quidditch care or the Essence of Dittany. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, Quidditch gear probably ultimately a little more helpful because you can heal these. and attack yeah. as, as bad guys get more scary. I have a feeling that Draco is probably the least scary one here. Okay, yep, great. We're going to do this. And it's an item. Item goes on top of my deck. Nice. And that is the end of my turn. Okay, um, so now you have to flip a new villain, and I'll replace this in the store. I'm really good at co-op games, guys. I love co-op games. 
I think they're so much fun. Um, all right. Do you Moment do this? Of truth. Do you do this? You do this. End of your turn. Oh, Crab and Goyle. I am a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card. That hero loses one health. I hate him. That's a bummer. Mew. Mew. Also, there... There are multiple spaces for villains. I think as the games go on, we're going to have to fight more people. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Indeed. Guys, this is going to be so good. <laughs> Wink. All right, so I have to flip. Flippity flip. Petrification. All heroes lose one health, doink, and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Yep. There okay. you go. Did you lose your health? Yes. Down to four. I'm down to five. All right, I've got... All right, Incendio, one attack. I've got... Oh, man, I need more allies. I don't have any. Uh, so Birdie Bots, every flavor beans. I get one of these. For each ally played, which is none, I would get uh, attack. Gain one, gain one, gain one. So I get three more, so I have four to spend. And I will buy... <laughs> Read! Oh, no! <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Reed clipped um, his cat's nails. She was scratching way too hard. And now mm -hmm. she's attaching her scratch pads. I'm gonna buy both of these. Goodbye. Two. Good. Those are mine now. Uh, that's the end of my turn, so now. Flippity. Flippity indeed. Flippity. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Dead boy. Come, you know what? That is like three cards that he shuffled versus like the 10. And see what a good job I did with three cards. You're very proud of yourself. Mm. Um, okay, hold on. I got to, we have to do this. Hendo, active hero loses one and then discards a card. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me finish drawing up. I'm assuming those just get shuffled. I assume so. Would, no, you can shuffle them. That's fun. All this shuffle talk. I'm gonna discard an Alohomora. Um, so we're really not gaining a lot this turn. Nay. Um. Wait, did we cover off on whose house? Like, what what house is everyone in? Did we cover off on that? We did. Well, I said mine. Is it yours? No, what house are you in? Gryffindor Thunderbird. Gryffindor at Hogwarts, Thunderbird at Overmorning. I forget what I am at Overmorning. Puckwidgey. Thanks. Did you remember? Yeah. Well done. Um, yeah, Gryffindor for Hogwarts and, uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the hair coloring is a is a dead giveaway though, Tiger. That's true. Goldie is lime green. Uh, did, hey Val, I totally agree with you, but I need to make Danny smell too from Dutch He's currently in my movie camera. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um thank you, Dead Boy. Thank you, Dead Boy. Um Okay, here's the deal. I am going to play Quidditch gear. I'm gonna gain an attack, attack, and I'm gonna gain a heart. Mm -hmm. um, how many attack do you have this next hand? None. Oh, shoot. I shuffled, flipped Oh, back. no, I have two on my next turn, I have two. You have two? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just hit him once. Or gold. You, would you like your lightning bolt? No, I already did. Oh, that's right. You did? You did. You did. I'm debating on perk checks. Because you hit him for once. I hit him for once. I yeah, so if you hit him one more time, I can kill him on the next stream. I can knock him out on my next stream. Have a call. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, um, then yes, fine. I will use perk checks to do that. Attack! Pew, pew. 
Um, Reed, this is your cat right here. Um, sharpening those claws. Do it. Uh, Alohomora and Wigardium Leviosa. So I have two influence. Thank you. What causes another Wingardium Leviosa? It sounds like that's probably the card for me. Here we go. Here you go. Excellent. And oh, no, not an item. That's a spell. Hmm. Oops. Let me click it away. So much for smooth editing. Next. My turn. Did you flip a batty? Oh, you did. I did. Did you and shuffle? I, sh I did. You shuffled. I shuffled. Did you shuffle, though? I will flip. Well, did you shuffle, though? That's for you. Thanks. That was the first card last time. I don't think she shuffled. That's what you all sound like. <laughs> uh, Tigra, no worries. <laughs> um... You know what? I was I was so tempted. I was so tempted to dye my hair. And I chickened out. I also had shorter hair too. Like back in February, it was like here. So like this much growth has happened over a period of time. Um <laughs> Bam! I have defeated Crab. And I Boyle. feel like um All heroes draw a card. Hooray! Reed says, um, you know, mm. I get mistaken for people all the time. Happens all the time. Wait, discard! Yes. Sorting hat, gain two. I'm so close to affording Albus over there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not enough. So I'll get another Descendo. More attack for me. Goodbye things. Flip, and now the final villain. What happens when we defeat all the villains? We win. We have oh. to defeat all the villains before they can take control of Diagon Alley and the Mirror of Erised. Oh. Much like the plot of the first movie! Yay. Wait, who's the active hero? Am I the active hero? It is your turn now. And you flipped him, so I'm the active hero? I lose one? You're right. I hate this. Well, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you expected. <gasps> active hero loses two! Oh no! <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! Someone's about to get stunned. Do, okay, do, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it here. Gain one attack and one heart. Um. Oh no. Well, yep. That's that's all I could do. Uh, Oliver Wood gain one attack, and if I defeat them, that's not gonna happen. So uh, good luck. Um. One, two, three. How much attack do you have this turn? I don't know yet. I don't even have a hand yet. One, two, three. Four, five. Ow. Go there. Uh, attack, I have potentially one, two, two. But I have the ability to at least draw a card. Okay. I also might heal. Currently, one potentially two. I choose not to do heal. Okay. Well, I have three. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. Mm hmm. Okay. So now I have four to spend. I have four to spend. And sit down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, and with my time turner, I get to put it on top of my my deck. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to use this over here and this over here. Um, mm -hmm. Can you reset this? Oops. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Beard, thank you. Oh my gosh, I would love turquoise hair. Do it. Disney. Me. It's Don't against relax, the Disney enough. look. Don't huh. relax. This I think I have to, like, the thing is, I would have to bleach it first. A lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're very dirty. Uh, 
Flipendo! Active hero loses one and discards a card. No! Yeah, because I think um, if I have to bleach it... I don't know. I also tend to donate it every like two years. So I need to do a trim and then probably after October I'm going to... What's happening? You need a hand so that you can draw one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got the show. Um, <laughs> beard on Batman. Dude, you look okay. No, thanks. <laughs> Emerald highlights. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to choose to heal. Uh -huh. One, two. And then I'm going to choose to heal you for two. Oh, thank you. And then I get one attack. And then I get one to spend. Look at that. Such a good heart. That is that is totally a Ron Weasley. Um, Weasley! Galaxy. Galaxy hair. I'm not to buy anything. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I also didn't lose. I didn't lose the one for this. Oh. So I need to lose one more. Okay. Yeah, I feel like um, Bernice. Pearl. He's a, he's a tougher, he's a tougher body. Can you flip the... Sure. Okay, I'm drawing... He who must not be named! Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Boo -de -doo -doo -de. Wee -wee, wee -wee. Okay, so I lose a heart. Oh. 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 Uh, I gain an attack. Mm -hmm. And I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold. I gain another attack. And I draw a card. So I gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> if I do eight, I can afford double time. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. It has seven, the stun conditions on the base of your thing. Yes. Oh, and you add one to the location. Oh, no. Yeah, that sucks even more. So if you get knocked out, they gain a, a control counter and gain one of those. So. That makes it even tougher. Scarier. Um. Okay, well, the good news is we only need to hit him from one. Sweet. My turn. I think. Yes. Yes. How's right. Ryan's hair looking today, though? It was pretty, pe it was ah. really peacocking last week. Okay. Did Ryan have like a mohawk? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm stunned. You. Yep. They have gained diagonally. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does this go now? I right here? Know. Yeah, I assume right there. Mm -hmm. No, just leave the markers on. What, why? Because they're still... In well, we can't get it back. You can't get it back? Oh, wait. I might be able to, because I have until the end of my turn to get them back. Or to, to undo this one, I think. Or and take one off. It might be okay. That's what it says on that thing. Okay, but you're stunned, right? Yes, so that just means I discard. All tokens and half the cards in your hand, add one to location, reset your health to 10, and at the end of this turn. Yeah, so it just means I, I suck. That's all that means. Oh, but I don't have any attack. Oh my god, Danny. <laughs> That's okay. So I have two to spend. Beard. Way to go, Danny, you blew it! And I'm going to buy the loose. Essence of Dittany, which goes to the top of my deck because of Wingardium Leviosa. But unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about Professor Quirrell, so they do indeed take Diagonally. But I am going to look up exactly how that happens now, because now that it's happened, it's happened. Location control. I know, Terrence. Turn I know. Uh, at the end of the turn, the location still has the required skull. The villain gains control of it. Discard the controlled location as the battle moves on to the next one in the stack. If the villains gain control of all the locations, the heroes lose the game. All the locations? Yeah. They so get the good. mirror. If they get the mirror. So we good, we good. Maybe, unless you get knocked out on the next turn. 
Um, okay, you know what? Now I go back to 10. Let's get the dice. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is, this is excellent. Well, this first, is, oh shoot. Don't get excited. Huh? All heroes, what? Lose one heart. Okay. And cannot draw extra cards this turn. And then you still lose a heart for four. Oh, I hate you. Active hero draws five new cards at the end of the turn. Okay. Great. Well, Quidditch gear, gain an attack, and gain a heart. Another Quidditch gear. Gain an attack. And gain a heart. Hmm? I'm watching your hands go. Oh. oh. Um, I can pop us in, and I can pop us out. I can pop us in, and I can pop us out. <laughs> what a great time over here. It's just delightful. Um, we're dancing. You're we're a grooming. wizard, Denny. Um, but you know what? Bing. That's it. You win. Good you. <laughs> All heroes gain one influence and one heart. Cool. There's no reason to be one. But what if you could use this for the next thing? What's the next thing? I don't know. So what do we do to reset from game one? I think you set up game two. Wait, hey, look at that. That's not too bad. Clarify that we won. Objective. Win the game if you defeat all the villains before they gain control of all the locations, thereby securing the safety of Hogwarts for now. However, if the villains manage to gain control of all the locations, you've lost the game. Yeah, we won. Yay! Now what? Now we can play part two, because I think we have time. Yeah, you guys want to play part two? Uh, who's been di diagonally? It's pretty impressive. Uh, I've been to the Universal one, and then we've been to the London, like the studios. We went to the Harry Potter studios, yeah. WB Studios. WB. That are de facto the Harry Potter studios. That a lot of cool stuff too, but mostly, mostly, mostly Harry Potter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess we gotta dig out these cards and set up for part two. Oh man, we just got Albus. I just like to point that out. We just had Albus Dumbledore. I really liked the deck that I was like building towards. I'm very disappointed. I'm very happy that all the starting cards just say Ron on them. That is pretty cool. Bink. Ron Weasley. If you ever get the chance, if you're ever out that way, make the trip to the studio. But don't dawdle too long. You're gonna have to sprint out of there. Okay, or if you do, just plan your trip back. Because Danny and I thought that we were going to be able to plan our trip back. And then somehow, we're not. Oh no, there goes my attack. Um, yeah, I've only been to the one in Universal at Orlando. Orlando, I hear, is the better of the two for sure. That are here in the in the states. Yes. Um, you know what? I haven't been to Orlando since like 20, 2007. Orlando, Orlando. Huh? Two thousand seven was the last time I was in Orlando. I've never been, never been to Florida, Florida. Um, so that goes away. All of these are game one. Um. Which is cooler, the set or the recreation? The set. The set is insane. The set is amazing. Okay, guys, like, the Great Hall is so cool. It's pretty great. Um, They they actually created, like, the flooring is, like, stone. Um, and I, I think that they built it with the, with, like, the mindset of we're going to, we're going to just use this for, like, the next x amount of years um so they they built it to last and um and even when you're walking in it like we spent all like most of our time when we've been traveling has been like all of that area is like stone flooring so it really felt the same it was pretty pretty trippy it wasn't just a look um so highly recommend uh danny you should come visit and then we go say hi to justin's mom okay wait beard are you in orlando 
Um, that's cool. I didn't know you that you were out in Florida. Uh, I'd rather go to the set. Greater chance of accidentally running into the cast. I don't think they're making those anymore. No, I think that, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you know what, Dead Boy, uh, I believe in you. If you have, if you get the opportunity to run into them, uh, let us, let us know. Tell them we said hi. Right. Game one stuff is over there. Okay. <laughs> this is still game one stuff. I know, I know. Even the character cards? I'm assuming. I'm going to leave these handy just for a second, just in case. Okay. Do you think these change as well? Well, I, I feel like that would be the vibe. Let's see, shall we? Game two. Right, pack cards, locations. Aha! Congratulations! You are growing even more powerful as you continue to hold back the rising tide of evil. Oh, this is if you win. Uh, oh, so then what is the what is the end of game one card? I don't think there was one. There wasn't a game one card? No, there wasn't a little booklet because this rule book is the booklet. Oh, then. Yeah, because this gives you the objective. So th I've read the back of this instead of the front of this. So, object, as in game one, defeat all the villains before they gain control of all the locations. Um, gameplay proceeds with the same four steps from step one. Oh my god. Um, all the villains are defeated, heroes win. Villains gain control of all the locations, heroes lose. And it says, you don't get to play the next one until you beat this one. Which is kind of cute. All right. One of three, two of three, two of three. So there's three of these. These are the bad guys. Who are the bad guys? Do we want to know? Or do you want to be a mystery? Right? I mean, I feel like we could guess if you know the Chamber of Secrets, but cool. Are you shuffling? Yeah, you can shuffle everything. That's what you can do. <laughs> Now, do these get added in? Or is this, this is just all the cards. This is it. These are our options. I don't think that that's true. I feel like you have to add them in, but... Yeah, there's no way. There's no way that that would be it. Does that mean that you get to save your, your deck? Oh no, does it? Danny? I don't know, it didn't say. Danny? I don't know, comma, it did not say. It just says you win. You may proceed. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> you now you play all seven games at once, including the trailer nine sorting cards. When you're ready to pack up the game, you use the divider to sort the cards by type instead of by game. This will make setting up your next game faster. The additional game rules can be stored in the pocket. Okay. After reading these rules, if you're familiar with deck building games, you can proceed directly to game three. These replace the game one locations. Dark Arts cards. You shuffle those together with the game one Dark Arts cards. Villain cards. Shuffle them together with the game one villain cards. Hogwarts cards. You shuffle them together. Okay, so no, we have the same. Op we have increased opportunities, but we don't keep our decks from the previous game. Okay. Hero setup is the same as game one. Choose a hero. Take the hero's deck of ten starting cards. You. You do not get to start the game with any of the additional Hogwarts cards you acquired from game one. Okay. Return those cards to the sh and shuffle them into the Hogwarts stack. You okay. should have been more diligent about practicing your spells over the break. Says. Okay. So I would have really good. liked that option of being able to be like, and you get to continue. But I guess like that I is more... I think that might be an option in the future ones. Because it specifies that you don't do it for this game. So I do think that you're onto something. I do have a feeling that it will say that. But I don't know. So these get mixed in with these, so even more bad guys. Um, locations get replaced, so there are only three locations. These are the same. These get shuffled in. So now we have more people to choose from. More allies, because there's a lot of ally abilities, and they're really we didn't come across a lot of allies in this deck. 
They're only a small handful, I think. How Hagrid! He's in there. Okay. Okay, guys. Prediction: They lose Hogwarts, then the Magistry, and then the world dies. <laughs> Cheery. <laughs> Reed, what are you doing? Um, we also have to shuffle the bad guys together, right? Did we do that? No. You have all the bad guys? No. Yes, but you only had it here. I imagine that they're up there in the game. They're somewhere in the game one. Um. <laughs> Valter's in dark side and sells out Danny? Oh no. Mm. Um. Shuffling these, shuffling these. This game is awesome. This is really cool. I really enjoy it. Um. But we also really like games that kind of build like this. Mm -hmm. So. Rivals for Katane. Uh, yeah. Which is nothing like this game, but it has that similar sort of feel like, oh, you understand now? Here's more complicated stuff to break your brain. Um. Great. <laughs> they already lost Tiger. That's fine. We got it. We got it back. We got it back. The cleanup crew. We didn't get it back. Like the men in black. Um. Ah! Mm -hmm. Um. Cause like the game four box is huge. So I think game four might be like new starting cards to play with like maybe older versions of the kids and that's where the asymmetry comes in. Game three is tiny like this one. So probably it's like game one into game two and into game three. Game four starts the new wave into game five, six, and seven. And I think at some point you can pick up your decks. Cause it yelled like thematically it's like, you should have studied more, which means you will have been studied more I think by the end of this game. So even if we don't play the next one, I do want to peek in the box just to see if that's the truth. If we win, we get to peek at the box. If we don't win, we don't get to peek at the box. Peek at the box. Um. <laughs> Make her Lord Valdemort. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> We're shuffling extra diligently. <laughs> any of y'all yell at me. I'm keeping it on the screen. You can see me shuffle. <laughs> see that shuffle? See that bridge? I am shuffling. <laughs> shuffling. <laughs> Great night. Who would buy Danny? <laughs> Uh, I mean, how are you guys liking this game so far? Are you guys enjoying? Are you guys enjoying this concept? Beard, I feel like this is like a, this is not as complicated. So I'm hoping that you are enjoying this game more. Maybe we can convince you to buy this game. potion. Gilderoy Lockhart. He's an ally. He's a douche. I know he really shouldn't be an ally, but you know. Okay, I need to pull my hair up. We're working on it. The hair is going up, guys. It's getting serious. Whew. Okay. <laughs> see that shuffle? You have epic bridge ticking. Oh, thank you. I want to see all seven years. Oh boy, we don't have that kind of time. Uh, yeah. And next next month we have work replacement. Mm hmm We're moving on to different mechanics, so you won't see this one again for a while. A while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Although exciting news, everybody. Uh, the partner push continues, but we are going to apply for the first time later today because we hit our goal as far as averages. That doesn't mean but... slack off. Please keep coming because the last time this happened, we thought we were good. And by the time they actually showed up to look at our channel, we were no longer good. So that's why we didn't get it. So just a heads up and then we'll know in like a couple weeks and then that'll be super fun. Yeah. So keep, keep telling everyone, show up Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday nights. We need you here. On Twitch. We're on currently Twitch. on YouTube. Oh, that's right. We're on YouTube. <laughs> we need you on Twitch. We also need you here, but uh, need you way more over there. Currently. Um, <laughs> we are not, the games are co completely irrelevant. <laughs> 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 Aw, thank you. We enjoy hanging out with you. 
Um, thank you so much, Dead Boy. Keep pushing. Appreciate that. And honestly, guys, the support has been amazing. I, like so much love. There's been it's so it's so amazing just to think about like how we started this, or how you guys started this channel like what three years ago mm -hmm. and like where we are now like <gasps> super nuts. Ooh, what did you do? I shuffled. You boy. <laughs> so you all can't see what I just flipped. So give me just a second. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> First up is the Basilisk. Heroes cannot draw extra cards, but you'd still draw five new cards at the end of your turn. Next, it's got eight health. <laughs> Dead Boy says, <coughs> now on trash your piece. <laughs> That's how likely that is to happen. I'm also generally working. I'm able to lurk. Generally working. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the salute. Um, um, you want to go first this time? Because I went first last time. Did you? Did you? Good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, hey, I ended up with one of these. That was really awesome. Um, all right. Crookshanks is going to help with an attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, two, three. I'm gonna take. Oh shoot! What? In discard. Discard and okay. so Then what else do you get? Um. Okay. So I'm gonna take. All right. I'm still gonna take the attack and just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna gain. Sorry. I'm gonna gain two. So I'm going to have four to spend. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Brian says, the best part about tabletop for two is that you're all back in the tavern. I miss the studio so much. Aww. Try to find some old quarter to one. Also fun. Oh, man. Yeah, quarter to one. I mean, I love the other shows, but this is low key my favorite one because it just feels like I'm chilling with friends, laughing, and joking. Ah! We're yeah. here for you. <laughs> um, it is true. You guys are so much fun to hang out with. Um, let's see here. I, you know what? I'm just gonna take a look at this. That's that's what I got. All right. Hold on, 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 hold on. Holding on. Hold on. Okay. Holding. I get no cool things that happen. I can't You're move things. The fast list. I am attack a pew. I am attack. I am. Uh, I am become Valdemort, destroyer of worlds. I'm so excited. <laughs> Turn to flip. I thought we were gonna get a stand. Huh? I thought we were gonna get another stand. I mean, you still gotta get the app. Let me know. Get you a stand. Active hero loses one health. Add one control marker to the location. Yay! They're taking control of the Forbidden Forest. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Uh, all right, I'm going to. Sweet, I got Pigwidgeon, and I've got Clean Sweep Eleven, so I get two. Nice, nice. Uh, I got one, two, three to spend. I'm gonna refill my tea. Okay. I'll be back. All right. You wish <laughs> I am a tech. Take the risk of spending like $200 on that Kickstarter, but what if I get the game to decide I don't like this? Which game are you talking about? Which game, Reed? There's a lot out there. Is it the zombie side one? Oh, I didn't put this. Um, three to spend. Ooh! I'm gonna get Polyjuice Potion, even though I won't be able to use it for a bit. Oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna get Reparo, and then maybe on my next turn I'll get Polyjuice Potion. Okay, why? Well, because this will allow me to gain two spending, which will increase my opportunity to buy better yeah. cards. Or I can draw a card with it. It's it's good either way you look at it. I'm gonna fling two attacks over at the Basilisk. Uh, it has five health left. One, two, three, four, five. Bew, 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 bew. Birthstone. Hmm? 
Birthstone. Birthstone. <gasps> bloodstone? You're thinking of Bloodstone? Because that one's super cool. That's the one we were, we've been talking about before. Poison. All heroes choose one. You can discard an ally or lose two health. I don't think either of us have allies, so we lose two health. You. You. That's not true. I had good choice. Oh. Well, not in my hand. You also don't have one in your hand. So you okay, you know, I did. I did. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> um, okay, I have five to spend. Yes. Oh, you didn't, you didn't put the You didn't put the Okay, you know what? I have to spend. Uh, uh loves his new camera mount so much. It is pretty convenient. It lets you guys see what's happening, I think. Unless it doesn't, in which case we totally don't have to use it. But, uh, yeah, let us know, because I don't think we're actually, like, playing. I, I mean, I'm not. I don't play after. Okay, you know what? I just play in my space and uh, let it be. Um. <laughs> Bloodstone. Uh, yeah, Bloodstone looks super fun. Uh, I am very, also very tempted by it. Uh, we're chatting with the creator of that one. I want to get him on this show. We'd have to play with him digitally, though, and that's something i got to figure out do. It'd have to be on simulator. I was hoping to try and get one of his promo copies, but they're spoken for for the duration of the campaign, so I can't get it. Okay, I'm gonna just spend the four, or the five, and I'm gonna gain this. And because my time turner, I get to put this on top of my deck, instead yeah. of my deck discard pile. It's 150 to 200 bucks, doesn't ship till 2022. Yeah, Reed, that's pretty standard for a lot of Kickstarter backings. You're not going to see those games for a year, especially if they have minis. So that's normal. The nice thing is, I think it's Skybound, so they're a trusted publisher, so I wouldn't feel weird about like not getting it. It's not like a super indie, never heard of company. So they, like they're got reputable. A good, yeah, they're reputable, they have a good track record. Um, so yeah, it just the worst thing is you'll have to wait, but you'll, you'll get your stuff. Um, but it's like a new surprise every single time. Because I think that that's happened a couple of times. Yeah, there have been times where I've forgotten. It's been so long, and then a game just shows up. I'm like, oh, yeah! That's a great thing. My turn? It's a gift for your future self. Yes. <gasps> it's the sorting hat! And then you flip that. Petrification. All heroes lose one health. Doink. And Why? cannot draw extra cards this turn. Why? Doinky doink. Ah, this sucks. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All I can do is spend five. Uh, yeah, five is a tough one. Yeah. And even if you could draw a card, I can't draw a card anyway because of the basilisk. So five to spend, five to spend. I will get... Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get... Holly Juice Potion and Gilderoy Lockhart. I'm buy both of those. And we'll replace. And shuffle up. Excellent. The Vampire Masquerade chapters on here. What do you mean? Tyron? The. Uh, what you guys just did for. Um, for New Year's? Or the board game. Help us. Probably the board game. Chapters, I think, is the board game um, that is based in that universe. What is, um... What is Vampire the Masquerade? Huh? Uh, well, what kind of board game is it? Don't know. Oh, okay. I know, I know Vampire the Masquerade is a tabletop role-playing game, so I think there's elements of role-playing within the board game. Mm -hmm. um, but it's sort of like... Controlled Chaos, I think it's it's more Choose Your Own Adventure or something. I really don't know. I didn't do my homework on that one. But it does look good. Weird says, yeah, true Kickstarters don't start production until after they finish gaining their initial orders. Yep. Four, I'm sure we asked this, but what's your favorite fantasy series? <laughs> Probably this one. We're in it. <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. I Finally it. got her to watch Lord of the Rings not too long ago, but this is still the jam, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Crookshanks, I'm gonna have to heal up. Because I feel like things are. Oh, shoot. Did I flip? Nope. No! no! Alright, well, I'm still healed up. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to gain an attack. 
Terrence says, I'm waiting on Cherrywood Dice from the first Wormwood Dice Kickstarter. Nice. I think, I don't know if Lockerbie got his yet. He got the Halloween one from a while back. I don't know if the, he got those yet. Uh, Dead Boy says, I cannot afford Kickstarters. The hundreds of dollars. Cringe. There are lots of really good games on there that are anywhere between like 10 and 15 bucks though too. So like, yeah, the minis heavy ones and like the umpteen expansions, those ones are always going to be around the 150 to like 300 bucks range. But there are good games there. So I would say like start digging. Like there's those like mint tin ones where each game is like five bucks and every time they do a Kickstarter, you can get all of them. So you get like, boom, like a big stack of a whole bunch of games that are great for parties and stuff like that. And they're cheap. So yeah. Danny, is Stu getting a set of perception check dice as well? As individuals, we are. I think we're going to be buying our own sets for sure. Um, and speaking of, uh, stay tuned in the Discord. We will be starting our pre-orders next month. So top of March, we're going to, and for all of March, we'll be doing pre-orders. Pre-orders will close at the end of March. So make sure you guys are all squared away to do that. Uh, we'll get price points and all that stuff in for you guys as soon as possible. Uh, we'll get pictures uploaded so you guys can see that. But those will be... We're going to take the pre-orders through our Etsy because we have to do one bundled purchase from uh, Norse Foundry, so that's a whole thing. But basically, you order it through Etsy, uh, fulfillment will be via Norse Foundry mm -hmm. once they're made. Uh, but we have to do it all at once, so it does have to be pre-ordered. So that is how that is all working. It might so not be speedy tuned. because they do have to laser them all one at a time. So. But they're really cool. They are really cool. We had a chance to look at them the other day. My shoes? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, let me flip here. Let me reset here. <gasps> Albus! Albus! And you're going to do there? What? You're going to go there? I know. I'm not the one that forgets. Active hero loses too! Ding, ding. Still can't draw anything, so it does not matter. Apologies, potion. Totally useless, because I don't have an ally. Vaparo! Choose one. Can't draw a card, so that also doesn't work. So I will choose to gain two of these. One, two, three. More. Five to spend. Oh, no. Um. Ah, so close. With my five. Wish I had six. I know. I was, I've been looking at that one, so <laughs> I'm like, this is so rough. I'm gonna get, ah, no, ah. I mean, you can buy a two and then see if a three comes up. No, I can't, because you you replace those at the end of your turn. You don't replace them immediately? Show sure enough not. That's in phase four of the turn. Refill empty spaces for Hogwarts cards at the end of your turn. Oh. So yeah, you don't get you don't get the fun Star Realmsy thing of just whipping through them all. So I'm going to get Wingardium Leviosa and an Essence of Ditney, and I will just have one that I'm not going to use. So go here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's my turn. I will replace these. Bloop. I'm really excited. I feel like this is a very fun. We haven't had a game addition to our collection in a while. Because we still have plenty we've never played. That's not true. That, no, that is true. How? Obliviate! No, no! This card. A spell or lose two hearts. Oh yes. no. I will discard a spell. I will discard an Aloha Mora. I will also discard a spell. Hey, morning, Dead Aussie Gamer. <gasps> Hi, Dead Aussie Gamer. He was just talking about you. How are you? Happy morning. Mm -hmm. It's Tuesday for you, yes? Uh, wow. Old Quidditch gear. How much do you have this Four. Four. So I can either get Lumos, which I feel like is really not that useful until we can get rid of the fans. Okay, I'm gonna do Quidditch gear because I feel like that's important. Um, okay, and uh, that's my turn. Cool. Hey, look at that. One, two. So James I only have Tuesday all four day. cards because. Um, oh no! You must not be named. Add one to the location. One control marker. 
Hey, has anyone heard from our friends in Texas and the Midwest? Everyone's doing okay? Are they falling? Uh, I'm going to play Gilderoy Lockhart, draw a card, and then discard any one card. I will discard this Alohomora. Um, I'll do Pig Widgeon, so I get one attack. Clean Sweep 11, so I get one attack. Alohomora, so I get one spend, which is nothing and useless. I will get. I'll slap the Basilisk for two more. Only two more before the Basilisk is down. Time <laughs> two, and then I will shuffle up. Wait, dead boy. Hmm? The closest I ever got to back in things was when I could afford pre-order games. Mm -hmm. Honestly, look forward to the day I could tell a couple of my friends, hey, I was able to sign up. <laughs> um... My, first, you guys are all on the Kickstarter kick. My first Kickstarter was a board game. It was, um, shoot, The King's Men. Three, the four. King's Men. Um, it was from a smaller company. It was the first time I'd ever heard of Kickstarter. Like, so they had the demo out. We played the game. It was really fun. And like, yeah, if you want to buy it now, you can just get it on Kickstarter. I was like, what is that? So I download the app and horrible convention Wi-Fi. Um, and I bought it. So then I actually, I bought the demo version, which was just the pack of cards, and then I eventually got the full game and I got mailed out too. That one's fun. That's a good take that style game. Pretty quick. Lots of fun. I enjoy it. You know, I used to bring that one to work a lot. I'm so bummed. I can't draw any extra cards. Yep. All right. Well, I get to take an attack. <laughs> How many? One, two. Oh, not enough. All heroes get to draw a card can't draw a card. You cannot draw cards. Did you flip your flip? No, oh, I forgot to flip your flip. Active hero loses two. Dun, dun, dun. Um, okay, so I have three to spend. Mm -hmm. All right, well then repair. Repair. Uh, I attack for one. So close. It's Oliver Wood. Hello, Oliver Wood. Two, three, four. Bye! Turn to flip. Oh no! I don't know if I really back kick The hero loses one and discards the card. Oh no. Um, I feel like that's definitely Danny's world. Have I done any Kickstarters? Oh, um... Ah, crap! I mean, Instacart, yes. Instacart. Yes, I have. I have supported Kickstarters, but more for, like, friends that have said, okay, we're on Kickstarters. Um, my first ever video game pre-order was Fire Emblem Conquest and Birthright. I need clarification. I have not heard of those games. What? Well, so there's, I, I have Polyjuice Potion, which lets me copy the effects of a hero, like an ally card, but I don't know if that means that it becomes an ally card. So like the Stealth Needle in Star Realms uh... becomes that card. This one copies the effect, so it doesn't stay an item card, I think is my question. Um, Justin told you that he and I auditioned and played together on a live stream. I didn't know that. That's exciting. Good luck. Or break a leg, I should say. I know better than that. We're rooting for you. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> let's start a Kickstarter to tie Val's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know. Cause what is so what hold on wait, can you can I see Polish special? Mm-hmm. Because would it mimic So choose an ally you have played this turn, you may copy the effects of that ally. So I think so I just I get think to do the just, thing. Yeah, yeah. You, it's a repeat. In this case, actually I don't even think I was allowed to use it last time because it has to do with drawing cards, so I just yeah. discard. So I'm gonna choose not to play Polyjuice. I'm going to choose Uh every flavor beans. I get to gain one influence, but for each ally I played this turn, I'll gain one. Uh, I will discard this, which would allow me to draw a card, but I don't. But anyway, so I gain an attack just for playing an ally. All right. And then I get to gain one influence. In Guardian of Odessa, gain one influence. I can put items I acquire on top of my deck instead of in my discard pile. I have three to spend, but instead of buying an item, I am going to get an ally, and I am going to get Oliver Wood. I want to have more characters in my deck, because that is fun. <gasps> 
Are you attacking? Yeah. Boom. And he's done? All heroes draw no. a card. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, he's done. He's done! And we get to remove one of these from the location. And actually, so I might be able to do more. Oh, I already bought him. But anyway, so I had one left. Doesn't matter. But that's cool. Did you draw a card? I get to draw a card. And now, and now he goes to the discard. Goodbye! And now it's the end of my turn, so I have to replenish that. And Tom Riddle, baby Tom Riddle. Oh. Is now the enemy. For each ally in hand, yeah. active hero chooses one. Lose two hearts or discard a card. That oh, sucks. dang. Okay. Um, Relatio, all heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two hearts. I will discard an item. I happen to have one. Oh wait, I'm gonna discard the other item. That's less important. Oh crap. There it is. The lights just shoot? Am I crazy for you? No. I think it was intentional. I think Art did it. I don't think so. Yeah. Hey, has this light never been on? Oh that just oh that's what happened. Use the remote. Oh. Every time. No. Stand by, guys. Hold on. I'm going to try to figure this out because I don't want to discard an item. Wait. Okay. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I could do. Oh, hey, there it is. There's the light. Six, seven. All right. I'm going to discard a card. Wait, hold on. What is the best or worst flavor bean you could find? Uh, the worst one for me will always be rotten egg. That one is just full up. That's just awful. Okay, I'm going to discard a card. Um, I'm going to use this and gain a heart and gain an attack. Mm -hmm. um, I have Alohomora, Alohomora, I have Sorting Hat. And I am not gaining an ally this turn, but I have six to spend. Um, so I think I'm going to buy Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus? Oh, yeah. My phone. Um, which will allow me to gain two attack and to draw a card, and I will attack Tom Riddle for one. Nice. My turn? Uh, yes. Hold on. Let's reset. Please proceed. Mm-hmm. Leap, leap. You must not be named. Dead Aussie Gamer mm -hmm. says you don't like buttered popcorn. You don't like buttered popcorn. Butter. ally in hand, which is none. Um... I like buttered popcorn. That's a good. That's a good bean. Yeah, fresh grass actually was pretty good. I didn't have an ally in hand. Stupid. All right. Uh, essence of Dittany. One, two. Heal. Paparo. Two, three, four. So I have. I can either have four to spend, or I can draw a card. Ooh. I'm gonna draw a card because it's a good chance I'll just get another coin. Yeah, so I still have four. Worth it. Let's see here. Um, I mean, like, are we talking about, like, regular jelly beans? Because if we're talking regular jelly beans, like, watermelon's pretty good. Lumos. Uh, I have no attack. Wait, did you do one of these things? Yeah. Oh. Um. Um, my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Reset. Mm. Uh, one, two, three, five. And flip. Hand of glory. Active hero loses one. Ouch! And add a control marker to the location. Oh, you have no! Until the end of this turn to take care of baby Tom Riddle. Oh, what do you mean? Like, if we defeat him? Oh, we get to remove that. Yeah. Or if you have a way to take one off. 
Because in his case, if you beat him, you actually don't take one off, which sucks. Okay, well, I have an ally in my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and discard Alohomora. Um I'm not gonna be able to beat him, guys. But I have Expelliarmus, so I will add two attack, and I will draw a card and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, okay. Incendio, I will add an attack and draw a card. And that didn't help much. Um, yes. I have three to spend. Um, okay, wait. No. No, he's going to get it. He's yep. going to get it. Yes. Guaranteed. Oh, no. Okay, well, let me do at least... Oh, well, how much attack do you have? I will have up to at least two. At least two on my next turn. Okay, if you have at least two, then I'm going to use this. Or I'm going to save my one. To use it for healing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack the three. I'm going to heal two. And I am... That's not bad, though. A lot of my attack cards came up. I have three to spend. <sighs> do I want a pal or do I want to here? Uh, you know what, I'm going to do a pair because I'm going to... Draw a card. Or draw a card. Or, <laughs> and I'm going to use my time turner and put it at the top of my deck. That's your character card, isn't it? Hmm? My time, time turner? turner? Yes, it is. That's cool. Which is all I want in life. I just want a real-life time turner. Thank you. Guardian Leviosa! My turn. Active hero, um, this is too help. Be me out. So, Val, why aren't you in your wizard robes? I know you own a set. I actually don't. I own a set. I don't own a but set. But mine is too big. It looks stupid. Um, um, all right. I was thinking Headway. about it, though. But I do have... We do have scarves. We should have brought the scarves. It's too hot. Um, part, I'm going to discard one. A one. Uh, Best would be fresh pressed pair of pants, and the worst would be a rusty carnival ride. That has a gamer. What? Flavors, I'm assuming. All right. I get two attack. I get two. Oh, so we've actually lost the forbidden forest. I don't know if that's where that goes. We do have to take these off because there's only eight of them that exist. Oh, no. Uh, I have a feeling these will get more difficult, too. I think in the future you'll be revealing more than one. Because there's, there's room for three, or there's room for two. Mm -hmm. We've just been flipping them over here, right? Yeah. Uh, I got two to spend, so I'm going to buy myself a Wingardia Leviosa. Um, and then choo 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 choo! Boom! All heroes choose one. We can either gain two life or search their discard pile for an ally and put it into their hand. I'm going to just. Gain two. Yeah. I, I will also just gain two. Um, he goes over here. Mm-hmm. And then first we flip this. Then we flip this. Draco Malfoy, we meet again. All right. Uh, I'm going to start, so I'm going to flip this. <laughs> All heroes lose one heart. No. And cannot draw extra... Um, no. Cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's see here. Alohomora, Alohomora, Alohomora. And I can't draw. <laughs> and a Lumos. Oh no. Nobody gets to draw. Um, okay, alright, fine. I'm gonna use my Reparo, since I can't draw a card to gain two, so I have five to spend. I'm gonna take that five, and I'm going to buy an item. Item? But yes. do you want it now? Want it now. Um, and it's the Nimbus 2001, 2001. which is two attack. Pew pew. 
And if you defeat a villain while that's out there, you get to gain two influence. Lovely. My turn. Uh, stand back. And let me uh, shuffle. Your Batman says, is it me or is Vala Slytherin though? What? I think she's a Ravenclaw. I'm not a Slytherin. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I'm that clever, actually. Like, it's not, it's not great. I don't know. Um, ooh, that sounded... Nice. Um, sounded good. Um, wait, Dad has a gamer. You agree? You think I'm a Ravenclaw? Versus, or a Slytherin? You think I'm a Ravenclaw? You think I'm a Slytherin? I'm definitely a Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm really I not that smart, I think if you guys. didn't tell the hat that you wanted to be in Gryffindor, you would have been a Ravenclaw. Oh, show. Uh, what would your pick? Uh, Mine's a pole cat. According to according to um, the thing. Yep. Stand by. Hold on. I'm Pottermore. Pardon. Thank you. Um, Pottermore. I have like a an Irish wolfhound. I, I have a puppy. I have, I have a, a pole really cat, which is like a ferret puppy. Puppy. You shuffled. You good? No. Can't take the turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bella's Hufflepuff. <laughs> I don't think I'm Hufflepuff. <laughs> I think she's super cunning at games that I've watched, and you have a very Slytherin laugh when Danny falls, hook, line, and sinker. See? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And your little Irish wolfhound, Patronus, too. Danny's a Hufflepuff. I'm not a Hufflepuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hufflepuffs are one of the sweetest. See, look, you can't be a Hufflepuff. Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Did you, did you shuffle? Did you see me shuffle? Yeah, far too long. You, like, you shuffled so long, you unshuffled. I put it back in order. I could also see Ravenclaw. Two. I think a lot of people slow their claw. I think a lot of people at first glance would also position me as Ravenclaw. A lot of people have said that to me before. Mm -hmm. What is this? Six. Oh, I didn't. Oh no, I lose two because of Draco. I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. So I have uh, six to spend. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Quidditch gear and a Rapara. I'm going to get, even though I could have gotten a Descendo, I think I need more opportunities for healing. Arthur Weasley! <gasps> Arthur Weasley! Oh, we love him! Don't forget to flip. Thank you, we're flipping. Petrification, all heroes lose one. I cannot it! Danny is the Voldemort of the Hufflepuffs. That's what's tricky. <laughs> Danny's haggard. He got expelled for sneaking cucumber onto school grounds. Now he cares for the felted friends and shed out back. That's probably <laughs> the most likely situation. <laughs> so that's a fair representation. Um. Okay, I'm gonna play a Quidditch gear. Yes. I'm gonna gain a heart, okay. and I'm gonna gain an attack. Okay. Attack. Attack. Um, let's see here. Two, three, four, five. Voldemort of Hufflepuff is the one who ate the meeting donuts before people showed up. Four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna use my Tales of the of the pie. Beetle the Bard. His name is Beetle. He is a bard. He's Beetle the Bard. I know. I get t Beetle. I don't know what happened. <laughs> this happens all the time. Be little, little. It's terrible. It's not great. Um, all right, I'm going to use that to, so each of us will gain an influence. Thank you. You're welcome. And I will use one, two, um, and I will draw five. So I have six. I'm going to get Arthur Weasley. And I'm going to put Arthur Weasley in. Arthur Weasley. Um, in my draw pile because I get to put them on top of my deck. 
And then I will attack. Teeth. Attack. Right. Flip. Flip again. Look at all that healing. Look at all that healing. Active hero loses two. I am stunned. Oh no! I'm shocked and chagrined. Ugh. Uh, ouch. Which also, ouch. I would go lower, but I can't. So that's nice. I can't get hit for four because I don't go back up to ten until the end of my turn. Woof. What happened here? What happened to my friends? <laughs> Jason says, I'm like Susie with the quantum physics book and the alien pop-up shooting gallery scene in Men in Black. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm... Advanced physics at her age! Alright. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I get to discard half, so I guess that's... Is that two, or is that three? What did we do last time? We discarded two? Uh, is it rounded down? It's kind of. It would make sense that it's rounded down, and you only have three cards in your hand. <sighs> mm -hmm. I haven't watched Men in Black and Bright and Angels. <laughs> oh, I lose my token that you gave me. Oh, goodbye. Rounded down. So I have to discard two cards. Ouch. Well, I don't need that. And... I'll do that one. Because then I have Lumos. Each of us draws a card. Ray. One. Two attack. Pew pew. Pew pew. And that is it. I can't buy anything with my one token. End of my turn. I go back up to ten. Shuffle. Oh, did you get all of this winter weather, or are you sweating like all like us Floridians? Uh, we got a cold snap last week, but it then suddenly it started to like heat up. So today is supposed to be like 80 degrees out here, and um, and then I think we start going back into like the 70s, and then like maybe the 60s, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think we're not quite sweating, but. Um, oh no. I flip. As if Hero loses one and discards a card! No! Wow. Great, fine. <laughs> Discard an Alohomora. Um. Let's see here. I also gotta make an AI art apprentice think, think tank. tank thingy. I don't know how to help you with that. I'm confused again. Like, are you making art for AI? Or are you making a think tank thingy? Or are you making one of art? Um, I'm going down south. Great food, terrible weather. Mm. Yeah. I, I, you know, who knows, right? Weather's so important. I've forgotten all about that. Uh, let's hear. Two... Four. Aha! I'm gonna gain two attack. Nice. And I'm gonna draw a card because I can't. Ha, ha, ha. Did you flip? I did. That's how I ended up having to discard the electric card. Yep. Um, uh, we're going to play this. Wait, I'm gonna hold on to these really quick. I'm gonna play this. Ooh, I'm gonna. Generative AI assisted music videos. That and I'm gonna draw a card. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, I could do it. I'm going to use this one, Tales of Beetle the Bard. Aha, yeah. I got it. Uh, you get a coin. Yep. I get a coin. Um, and then I will use this and gain two coins. And I will use this and gain two points. And then I will use this to gain two points. And I will use this to gain one point. You're gonna get Albus Dumbledore. Yes, I am. <laughs> hmm? 
And I mean, unfortunately, he ends up in my discard, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, the last time I got him, the game ended. Mm -hmm. And you just knocked out Draco. <gasps> Yay! Pew pew. Point. And you get to take one of these off. He goes to the discard. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. It's my turn. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, this, five. This new villain is Lucius Malfoy. Oh, no. Each time uh, a control token is added to the location, remove one fight from... Or, oh, no. He's a healer from all villains. Also terrifying uh, implications for the future. Guys, this is going to be really tough. Um... Okay. Oh, and I didn't focus. Poison! No need to All be lost. Choose one. Or here, Jay's, where I'm you going are. going to discard, to discard an ally or lose two health. I'm discarding Guild Locker. Okay. Okay. What if I don't have an ally? And you take two, you lose two health. I hate you. <laughs> What are two J here J's where you are? Hmm? I'm trying to understand Dead Boy. Read Welcome to Tabletop for Two. Because he said he was lost earlier, because they're talking about Jack Frost stuff that I also don't understand. So Yeah, I don't know. Jack Frost? I also don't understand, so why are you looking at me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two Okay, we'll gain two. Three, four, five, I get three more, yay. I now have six. I'm gonna get, whoa. I'm gonna get Ruvius Hagrid. And Excellent. Of Disney. Oh, did I have any? I had no attack, no attack at all. I'm useless. Next time I'm buying this one. Three, four, five. Excellent. Um, oh, oh man. Okay. Hand of Glory! Active Hero loses one. That's you. And it's this. And then... Which also means that. Well, but... he can't heal anymore because he hasn't even been hit yet. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to be so difficult. <laughs> Take your turn. You can't stop that avalanche as it races down the hill. Um, okay, Lumos. Draw a card. All heroes draw a card. Yes. That's me. Yes. I'm all heroes. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, okay, Nimbus 2001. Gain two attack. Um, all right, well then I'm going to gain one, two, three, four, five. I have five and four. One, two, three, four, a five. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Um, me? That was yours. Right? No, 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 no. That's uh, that was my last turn, but yes. Cool. Um, when I got Albus, you got that. I see. Um. Oh. Which means you should have spent it. That's why I was asking. Do I keep this? So it's from my, your last turn. So I shouldn't have this. That was my Correct. question. Correct. Right, okay. Okay. But a different but... sword behind Danny's head, or am I just tired? It was swapped out not too long ago. It is now a fencing foil. It's right. Uh, I'm going to do a cow and a cat. And here we go. And that is my turn. Oh, wait, no. My Q. Weasley. Q. One, two, three, four, five. Holy cats, it's gotten cold. Can I go this one there? No. Or you could just go up. up. No. Okay. Oh, but I can get a blanket. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, flip. You flip. Petrification. Come on. All, All heroes, heroes lose one health. 
and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Can he? No. Well, I wanted to draw cards this turn. <laughs> I've got Oliver Wood! Uh, who gives me an attack. And then I have Quidditch Gear, which allows me to heal. And I get an attack. Polyjuice Potion, which allows me to copy Oliver Wood and get an attack. Lovely. And if I defeat a villain, which I won't, but if I did, I would also get to gain like four life, which I don't even need, but I just think that's super cool. I was going to draw a card, but I cannot. So two, uh, three, four to spend. Oh, I can't get Molly Weasley. Very sad about that. I will get Incendio instead. Yep, that works. I need more damage. Bam! Take that, Lucius Malfoy. You only have two hits left in you, buddy, unless he heals. Um, what if he heals? He heals. Alright, to... <gasps> flip. Fox the Phoenix! Hey, you know him. Uh, all heroes can choose one. Discard an item or lose two hearts. Discarding an item. Uh, the sword is going through his head when he's looking at this. Where's Steve Martin? Keep him entertained. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna lose two hearts. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, because this is what I'm gonna reverse that with Crookshanks and gain those two hearts back. I'm going to play Quidditch Gear and gain a heart and an attack. Um, and then I have three to spend. Three to spend. There's really not much. Brutus Fund, Polyjuice Potion. That works. That works. We're going to do that. Um, and really quick, what does this mean? What? Yep, nope, that's it. That's kind of... Uh, no, one hit. He's got one hit left. Juggle for a spell. Um, Rude, I hate to disappoint you, but uh, my juggling career is pretty limited. I could probably handle one item. And it just goes back and forth. Um, I tried juggling though when I was a kid. We tried, we tried learning with like the scarves, right? And someone was teaching me like you have to like go in a box, and I just could never like figure it out. But do you know how to juggle? Um, and this is this is why the movie game. Oh no! All right, Dead Boy, do you want to kick us off? I'm relying on your typing skills here. This is why. This is why we struggle. This is why I can't be on the street by myself. What happened? <laughs> well, Beard wanted me to juggle, and I'm pointless at that. Um, and then Dead Boy says, I don't know how to juggle for the people. Uh, it is your turn. Hold on, wait, let me flip. And then uh, Dead Boy wanted to play uh, the movie game, and I said I didn't know how to start, so I was asking him to start and wanting him to type. Ooh, and then. The yeah, but I don't know how to start that. Um, Just pick an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the problem is I sit and I wait for the chat to load. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how that goes for me too, Mary. Oh no! Why? Add one to the location. I worked so hard. And got so far. I can... oh, what? Ugh. Four, five. Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> All I have is four to spend, and if it's an item, I can put it on top. Two items, I can put it on top. Oh man. I'm gonna get Quidditch gear, put it on top. And not attack. It's okay. Assuming all goes well, mm -hmm. we should be fine. Ready? Mm -hmm. We flip. Obliviate! No, what do I have to do? All heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two. Danny? Discard a Lohomora. I'm discarding Lumos, and that's a good card. <laughs> or wait, or lose two? You know what? I'm going to lose two health. I'm going to keep my card. Yep, that works. 
Um, but you know, so I'm sorry. You know. Uh, Essence of Dittany, I'm gonna gain, I'm gonna heal myself up for two. Mm -hmm. Um, and Arthur Weasley, all heroes gain two influence. Nice. That's cool. Thanks, Arthur. Welcome. You're welcome. Um, I'm gonna play Expelliarmus. I'm gonna gain two attack. We're gonna defeat you. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna draw a card. Um, I'm gonna play my Nimbus 2001 and gain <laughs> two more attack. Overkill now. I know. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Um, but if we defeat a villain, I gain two influence. Mm -hmm. And we get to remove one of these from the location. Excellent. So he is gone. You know what? We'll be fine. We'll and we that. each gain a thing. Huh? We each gain a, an influence. Hooray! And, bloop. and then do any of your cards have any if you defeat a villain? Yes. Yeah, already. I already got those. Um, and then I'm going to... Let's see here. I'm having a really good turn here. One, two, four. I have five. Um, I'm going to gain two. Oh, wait. Do I draw a card or do I gain two? What do you think? So I have five right now. I could buy. You can get Molly. You get two more, right? Or oh. Another gain two attack, or all heroes gain two life. Fox is a good, that's a good bet. I mean, Molly's good too. All heroes gain influence, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna two. go with Fox. Uh, so then so I'm then gonna just draw a card. Draw a card. So you have another option. Hooray! Okay, well then I'm going to. And you could also buy yourself Essence of Disney if you wanted. Or when Guardian reviews. Or we each get another. But how much coin do you have? Or how much influence do you have for the next turn? Uh, I have not a lot. Like two, but I, I'm fine. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm going to use the other two on that mm -hmm. to get the Guardian of you. So. so, yes, I'm going to get Fox with the five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Ooh. Your turn. Your turn. Okay, here we go. Beep. Hand of Glory! Active hero loses one. Add one to the location. Oh wait, you know what we didn't do? Take care of Lucius. Tim Allen was in Toy Story with Ed Asner. Ed Asner was in the Mary Tyler Moore show with Betty White. That's not a movie. That's the count? It's the movie game. So now it doesn't count. But Lou! Right. Um. Did I put one on? Did I put one on? Were we down to one? I took him. Uh, no, we were up to three. We took him down. Okay, so we're back. Well, bye bye. What's this? All heroes, draw a card, which means I now have to shuffle. Uh, hold on. Catching up on the chat. Um, nice job, Emma. Juggling in sixth grade? That's awesome. Uh, Danny living on the edge. Totally true. Um, and we all want to know what you... So Emma had to juggle some whale beans and some scarves. See? Scarves. Scarves are a good start. You could let them fall and they have a lot of drag, so you have a chance to like build up your reflexes. It's awesome. Um... <laughs> I ended up playing the movie game by myself when I was watching the Immortal <coughs> Saga. I gave myself bonus points when I guessed the same movie as a character. That's awesome. What's the Immortal Saga? Tales of Amora. That was our first campaign on Perception Check. Mm. Right, so I get to draw a card. What's that? Boop. So I get one. Items go to the top, I get one. For each ally, I get one attack. Just one. I get one attack. I get 
one attack. Oh. I wish I could defeat this villain. I cannot. Or just five. Hmm. <laughs> no, I have five. I have five. Ha, 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 ha. It's about playing the movie game with jelly bean wagers. No. No art. I'm right. going to get the Nimbus 2001. Well done. Excited. I'm excited. And three attack to Crab and Goyle. Oh, the so original they... Crab and Goyle. So they don't. Oh, wait. We could. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's reset. We're going faster now, guys. We're picking up steam. No active hero loses two. Um, okay, I'm playing Albus Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. All heroes gain one attack, one influence, and one heart. Thanks, Albus. Um, I'm also going to play Incendio, and I get to gain an attack, and I get to draw a card. Um, so now I have Alohomora, which is going to allow me one influence. <laughs> Time Turner, which is another influence. Sorting Hat, I gain two influence. Mm -hmm. So now I have five. Paro, two influence. Oh, and another Reparo, which is two influence. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. Oh, that's five. I have nine. What? What's happening? Um. But the new campaign is also in the yes. Ah. Um, I have nine. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I'm done, <laughs> let's go ahead and defeat these guys. So we each get to draw a card. We each get to draw a card. Yay. And I have Lumo, so then we all get to draw a card. Yay. And I have Alohomora, so I will gain another influence. Wait, don't we get to remove one of these? No. Why? Because that's not the reward on that card. Oh, that's Lucius and Draco dead. let you do it, but the other ones don't. Um, okay, so let me see here. What can I spend? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! Can we get Molly? Yeah, let's do Molly and Incendio. Excellent. Nicely done. Oh, goodness. But yeah, like imagine how many like chain reaction like uh, tokens and stuff you can get. Now I see why they're super necessary. Um, like with four players. Oh. With all these cards happening, like boom, boom, boom. Dobby. Ugh. Oh. I'm not the only one. But, but you get to remove from the location. All right, that's pretty good. And draw a card. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so all. Oh, we didn't get. We got a flip. Oh no! Damn it! I have to defeat whoever this is in one turn. That's not gonna happen. Flip. Quirrell. Active hero loses one. <laughs> We're about to lose the Quidditch pitch, everybody. We're about to lose <laughs> the Quidditch pitch. All right, Oliver Wood. Gain one attack. Excellent. Quidditch gear. Gain one attack. And one heart. And one heart, thank you. Polyjuice Potion, I'm gonna use that to copy Oliver Wood. Gain one attack. Gain one attack. Oh, come on, buddy. Instead of spending, I'm gonna use this to draw a card. Ah, no, no such luck. I was hoping I'd get another ally or something. One, two, three, four to, sp no, five to spend. I will get the Golden Snitch for theming. Theming and greater glory. And then I'm gonna smack Coral upside the head, but it's not quite enough. Um, but it is enough, unfortunately, to lose the Quidditch pitch. And now it's on to the Chamber of Secrets, where we are now going to be revealing no! two Dark Arts events on every turn. I hate that. But it takes five in order to gain control of it. So I guess that's another difficulty thing. 
Also, I really like these tokens there. Metal little skulls. I want to... Oh, I want to make a mold of some of these. I want to make some anti prison. No, not Dobby. He can't die. Well, actually... <laughs> Um, all right, well, I'm going to move the Quidditch pitch over here since we have lost that. Um, and since we're flipping over two, Active Hero loses two. Thank you. Um, and Active Hero loses one and discards a card. You know what? Huh. This is doing so I did some heavy damage on Quirrell. I'm so proud of me. And then this Active Hero loses one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yep, yep, cool. I'll um, get to shuffling these. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, Molly Weasley Weasley is coming to play. All heroes gain one influence. Congratulations. And gain two hearts. Yeah, we both do? Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, uh, how many do we need? One... Four. Okay, so I'm going to gain an attack and draw a card. Thank you, Reed. Right? Exactly. Danny! What? Um, I'm just reading what they say. Right, but I couldn't tell if that comment was for the Dobby jab or if it was for the cards being played. Yours, oh. I think, was for the cards being played. Mine is for the I cards. feel like Chad is offended for Dobby. Oh. Yeah, you could probably... You know what? You could take the card there. <sighs> All right, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Um, Look at everybody. Look, I like that we got, we took care of the Basilisk right out the gate. So that was nice. I'm gonna draw another card. Oh, it's like the stupid, stuttering professor. Got it. I'm gonna take this. Yes. We're gonna do the attack. Um, all heroes gain one in points. Uh huh. And then you just keep the game. I know. Okay. And I didn't have to use my last one, which is another repair. Yes. But yay! Just beat Carl. Hooray. This, oh. this smells a little too easy to me. Huh? I don't think we're going to have time for another game. No, we don't. No. But. This one was super fun. I'm super excited. I feel like I'm going to want to play right. this. Now, because we beat it, I want to know so that whether we put it away, because if we do play it again, whether we keep these decks or not. That's the only reason I'm peeking, because I want to know how to, how to put this away. How do I put you away? Well, I think we can actually, let's show you guys what, what is in the next one. Danny's a tall Dobby. <laughs> I don't like that. As in the previous game, defeat all the villains before they gain control of all the locations. Location cards, blah, blah, blah. Chipboard shield tokens. Ooh, we get new, new stuff. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? Chipboard shield tokens. Shields to be used with the spell Petrificus Totalis. Aw, ye. Oh, I could pull everything. Do you want to show up on these people? I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. We've got a lot of stuff here, guys. But this this game will take up a lot of it's real estate, so. Uh, so these are new characters that show up. We get Sirius Black, Sybil Trelawney, Remus Lupin, Aww. Spectral Patronum, which is a little happy face. Jeffrey uh, Sotalis. Marauder's Map, Butterbeer, The Third of Age, Chocolate Frogs, uh, Crystal Ball, updated hero cards, so oh, they do yay. indeed age up in the game. That's pretty sweet, too. Um, Hogwarts Express, The Hogsmeade Village, and The Shrieking Shack. Oof. And then Peter Pettigrew is one of the villains. Uh, Dementor is also a villain. Active Hero loses, too! Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of problems. Uh, and then more problems, more dark arts cards, and then these are the tokens that you get. 
So I do want to read whether or not I'm supposed to I'm supposed to keep our cards together or not. I did say that you guys were nice people. I did say that I enjoy hanging out with you guys. Place your game one hero card with the new one included in this box. Your magical training has improved, and you now have the ability to use uh, have an ability to use throughout the game. So you get a new there are individual abilities on those cards that each character will get. As in the first two games, shuffle and stack your starting hero deck, and then draw five cards. This game really proceeds. So yeah, so it looks like. Use only the game three locations. Dark art cards, shuffle all dark arts cards together. Shuffle all villain cards together. Yikes. Uh, Hogwarts cards, shuffle all Hogwarts cards together. Reveal the top six cards. Upgraded hero cards. This replaces your game one hero card, then the chipboard shield tokens. That's, that's gonna get so hard. What is it? <laughs> well, just that we still are using all the villains as time goes on. That's a lot. <laughs> Michael says, "Who you say?" <laughs> yes. Um. Oh man. Yeah, this one's gonna get this one's gonna get Ooh. real tough, guys. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm super excited. I think it's a it's a. I still think like this this holds up. This is the two things. No, you don't care. You don't those want are working. Oh, the cards? Did you yeah. take those out? Well, you did. You did. No, they weren't in. Oh, they weren't? No. So those, these are actually probably for this one. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't what is that. happening? I think they slid out yes. during packaging. Or that you unslid them? No, that's not, no. No. Okay, we'll take it. Um, mm. Yeah, I think, I think that this game definitely beat my expectations. I enjoy how like how it builds. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's also really fun just to kind of revisit this world. Yeah. And um... Um, oh no! I mean, you're supposed to. It's not like it's broken. Well, you never know. Um, yay! Hooray! But we did it. We beat game one. We beat game two. Um, and yeah. Did you guys like the game? What did you guys think? Would you guys buy it? Would you guys play it? Yeah, who would you play? Um, so I think we're gonna, let's hear. So as we like put this stuff away, mm -hmm. we wanna just remind you that um, that we also have Cinephilia up next. So that's in about an hour or so. And then we also have Perception Paints tonight. Um, and, oh, maybe we should thank our, our sponsors and our, and our patrons. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have that button anymore. Oh, there it is. It has moved. There we are. Yay! Yay! Thank you to our Patreon producers. That's everybody who's over on Patreon. If anything you saw today you think is worth maybe a buck, uh, please consider joining our Patreon. We've got fun rewards, exclusive content, as well as early release content over on Patreon, as well as some fancy pants pins. Uh, the next in the series of pins for tiers three and above is currently in the design process, so it'll be on its way soonish. Um, and a lot of giveaways and rewards and stuff that have happened over the last couple, like last month or so, are going to go out uh, later this week. So that's pretty exciting as well. So check your mailboxes. Mm -hmm. Get excited. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff continuing to come come on. So we're super excited for that. Stay tuned. As Danny mentioned earlier, stay connected on the Discord um, mm -hmm. for more information coming um, on some of the things that Danny talked about earlier today. Um, Terrence says that he would definitely buy it and play as Ron, which is super exciting. Uh, Dead Boy says, I'd still watch all seven if I owned if I owned it and played several times. Yeah, yeah. Um, so unfortunately, this game probably won't be hitting the stream for, as Danny mentioned, for a little bit because next month, starting next week, we will have, um, we're working on different mechanics. So we'll be coming back and playing more, um, We'll probably be playing more worker placement games, mm -hmm. um, but we'll definitely come back to this uh, in the future. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, are those all the? These are the dividers, so that you can put it away cleanly. So once the boxes are open, you don't really need them anymore. So that's kind of nice too. So you don't have to feel like you have to put it so prettily away, because um, it separates by Hogwarts cards, 
that and so on. You can separate those bike games, I guess, on your own. Oh, cool. Yeah. But um, I can, we can do the rest of that. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, for thank joining you. us. And um, yeah, make sure you tune in at 530. Yes. 530, 530 for Cinephilia. Um, and, and stay tuned after mm-hmm. for Perception Pain. Hooray! Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys later. Have a great week! Bye, friends! (laughs) Keep waving! Keep waving, Belle! Keep waving! (laughs) Pew!